aviondemand.com. Automotive training you can receive anywhere, anytime. Your online training starts here. Three point eight liter, hundred thousand miles. The mill lights on with a P zero four forty. Now, one of the things we found out maybe the hard way over the years as the Chrysler's, not just Chrysler's but GM as well, is that you could have a P zero four forty evap code, and that could be no purge or it could be a large leak. So we have this 2008 Chrysler Town & Country with the mill light on with a 440 code. What Chrysler did in 07 model year and up, they went to a new type EVAP system called ESIM, EVAP System Integrity Module. You can see in my PowerPoint picture right here, the ESIM module is bolted right to the side of the canister and it has to be mounted perfectly vertical to the canister. Inside the ESIM module is a vacuum switch. Now, the ESIM systems with the key off are totally sealed. As the gas tank cools down, obviously builds a natural vacuum. It only takes one inch of H2O vacuum to force that vacuum switch closed. So Chrysler runs his EVAP monitor with the key off, supplies a voltage value to the vacuum switch inside the ESIM module. For some Chrysler computers, supply the ESIM vacuum switch with five volts, some of them supply it with 12 volts. That voltage is alive even with the key off. So what the Chrysler PCM is gonna do on a sealed system as the gas tank evap system cools down and builds that one inch of H2O vacuum, it's gonna force that vacuum switch close and pull that voltage low. If that voltage gets pulled low, the Chrysler computer knows that there is no small leak. So if that vacuum switch overnight stayed open and never closed, when a guy drives the car to work the next morning, the PCM is going to ramp up the duty cycle on the purge. It's going to try to force that vacuum switch closed. As soon as the vacuum switch is closed, the PCM is going to command a purge off, and it's going to monitor how long it takes that vacuum switch to go from closed back to open to determine where it's a small, medium, or large leak. So that's in the event that the EVAP monitor failed overnight during that extended cold soak. Now, we all know that if you have an EVAP leak, your primary piece of test equipment obviously is going to be your smoke machine. I want you to take a look at my PowerPoint and notice that air filter that's hooked to the ESI module. There's a big rubber hose. Keep in mind that if you're going to apply smoke pressure to these EVAP systems, you must pinch off that rubber hose because the pressure from the smoke machine will unseat a check valve and smoke will could be coming out that filter. So you need to pinch that rubber hose off before you obviously use your smoke machine. As with any other system out there, the purge solenoids are normally closed. So all you have to do here again is pinch off that rubber hose between the ESIM module and its air filter. 